today we are talking about being the salt of the earth and what it means to be the salt of the earth. Okay, before we get into it, um, Pastor Jono, we are going to have a kettle come our way with some hot water. Um, Pastor Jono, you today are going to be making some noodles. These noodles, um, some Shin Ramen noodles. Okay. They're okay. quite spicy. Uh, and they have um, spicy. They have a lot of salt in them, which is awesome. So you can go ahead, open up that packet, um, put it in the pot. I'm going to have to turn this on. I have no idea how to turn this on. Okay. I'm going to help Pastor Jonah out here to turn this on. I can hear a lot of gas. We ga have oh. gas. We have gas. Oh. Woo, beautiful. Oh, All right. You're not going to start a fire in um, here. Jonah, pour the water in there. Pour the into there. Oh, what was that? Okay, you know what? Maybe we should um <laughs> let's just let's put the water in first. Put the water in first? Yes. It's it'll probably uh, yeah. Ooh, steam. Love us the steam. Yeah, all good, see all good. guys, That's I am right. a good cook. I've already cooked some nice hot water for you. Here's some <laughs> hot water that I prepared prepared earlier. Um, How much hot water am I putting in? Um just a little bit more, a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Just okay, okay, we should be good. We should be good. That should be good. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this back on now. Okay, awesome. I think we're good. All right, Pastor John, open up that packet. Um, put the noodles in there. We're gonna let them cook away. As the noodles cook some, away, guys, I have some sanitize your hands. Random salty facts to tell you all and to tell you, Pastor John, as well. Did you know that salt in ancient societies was actually really highly valued? and highly prized. All right, we're gonna go in with a second packet over there. Oh, I imagine, like food without salt. Yeah, no. Doesn't taste very good, does it? It does not taste very good. I mean, can you imagine eating your favorite dish and it has absolutely no taste, it has no flavor because it has no salt in it, right? Salt in these ancient societies was actually mainly used for food preservation and it was even used as a commodity for economic purposes. So salt was so precious that it was actually used as money. It was used as a means of trade and a currency. Um, salt was so highly valued and so highly prized that it was actually referred to as white gold. White gold? White gold. Okay. I don't know what my reaction would be if someone came to me today and was like, hey, yo, Chanel, would you like some white gold? But like, what is that? If it's gonna give me rich. If it's gonna, yeah, if it's gonna uh, make me rich, it. maybe, maybe. Roman soldiers were actually even paid in salt, guys. That's that's how much salt was was really just so valued back in these times, right? In today's society, salt is still valued, but this time for its um, ability pre to preserve food, but especially, um, it is especially appreciated and valued for its role as a flavoring agent in giving food flavor or bringing out and enhancing the flavor in what we eat. So I'll bring it back to this point, Pastor Jono. Yeah. What's your favorite food? I think you mentioned, you mentioned macaroni you're, or something. You're putting me on the spot so much. <laughs> uh, all I can think of is don't stuff this up, <laughs> don't, don't mess this up. You're going up. good, Pastor Jono is doing great. Look at these noodles are cooking I don't know away. what to do next, I don't know what the next step no, is. you're right, Favorite you're food. Um, Pasta Chanel, my favorite food, uh, chicken wings. Chicken wings. Woo! Macaroni and cheese is definitely up there as well. Yes, yes, awesome, awesome. Yeah. Now imagine eating that with no salt. Has no flavor. What would your reaction be? You bite into a chicken wing, you get yourself a forkful of macaroni and cheese, and all you taste is plain. I'm, I'm awesome. not going to lie, I often have to add some salt, add some pepper whenever I'm eating food. Yeah. I like it add a little bit extra, extra salty. Uh, Mrs. Gillard will often say, oh, there's too much salt in this. I'll be like, really? I don't think there was enough. <laughs> a little bit um, sensitive to salt there. Yeah. Talking about um, being sensitive to salt, right? My mum, my mom, I think she's watching. Hi, mum. Um, she is actually very sensitive to salt. I'm quite sensitive to salt myself. But um, early on in her cooking days, um, not to say that her food wasn't amazing, but she was she was a bit, um, you know, kind of, she'd take it easy a bit on the salt. You know what I'm saying? Like she wasn't too brave in using her salt. She has gotten a lot better and man, do I miss her food. Miss your food, mum. Thank you for that. But yeah, just, just goes to show you that salt really does have this ability to, to step things up, to take things to the next level. 
in food and so much more so in our lives. All right. So the saying salt of the earth, do you know where it comes from? That is from the Bible, yeah? There's a from story the Bible. in the Bible. Yes, there is a story in the Bible that talks about being the salt of the earth. Okay, um, as before I continue going on, Pastor Jono, we have some bok choy here that I would like you to chop up. We also have some shiitake mushrooms. Love us some shiitake mushrooms. What are you doing? Chop. Yeah. You, you right, just said chop right it up. There. You didn't say how to chop it up. Um, put it, place it on the chopping board. You want me to just? Um, yeah, just just chop it up. I'm going like to go in and put in these shiitake mushrooms now watch for this us. Team. Okay. Can't see if it's not behind this Australian flag here. All right, all right. Um, back to back to the story. So this saying, "You are the salt of the earth." actually comes from Jesus's, one of Jesus' sermons, right, that he spoke about or um, said on the mount. So in the beginning of Matthew chapter 5, we're told that Jesus went up to the mountainside and sat down. His disciples gathered around him and he began to teach them. And Jesus goes on and he says this, You are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under foot. Now, Jesus was famous for using object lessons in teaching um, in a way that was easy for people to understand and to apply the message to their own lives. And here Jesus uses, it, uses salt to illustrate a point. Okay, Pastor Johnny, can you go on and put that bok choy in the pot for I'll us, please? Just pour please? it in. Yeah, yeah, just uh, just place that in nicely. Awesome, look at that. Ooh, all that goodness. Ooh. Gonna be eating good today. I, I chopped that up so well. Oh, <laughs> uh oh, I missed. Oh gosh, okay, uh, that's all right, that's all right, all good. All right, so salt was extremely valuable and useful to people who lived in the Bible time. Salt flavored food, it healed wounds. It preserved meat and as it would because they didn't have fridges back then. And these uses of salt, still apply to, to us today. Um, and Jesus' point for using salt, however, is and was a lot deeper. So in saying you are the salt of the earth, the noodles looking great, Jesus here was speaking to and referring to everyday people. Jesus was speaking about the fishermen, the shepherds, the laborers, the carpenters, the teachers, the students, People like me and you, people like me and Pastor Jono, Jesus was speaking to us. And Jesus here was specifically telling us or telling them about how God sees us, about how God wants us to be in the world. Now, Pastor Jono, how are these noodles going? Are we good. We're going all right? They're boiling away there, I yeah, see. I think they're cooked. I think they're ready. I think they're ready. Yeah, okay, okay. But I honestly have no idea. Oh, we've got to go in with our salt, Jono. We've got to go in with our spice. To, well, I was waiting for you to give me the instructions. You want yes. to pour all this in? Um, yeah, just, just the, the two um, just the two silver packets. Are, they the, are these the spicy ones? Yes, that is, that is the seasoning. You don't want the vegetable need. mix? Well, you can add that too if you want. Yeah, let's add it all in. Add it all in. Okay, guys, so first point, you are valuable. The ultimate essence of this message, the ultimate essence of Jesus telling his disciples or telling us, telling these ordinary everyday people that they are the salt of the earth. Jesus is saying here that we are worthy. We are virtuous. We are valuable. You are worthy. You are virtuous. You are valuable. Like salt was and is highly valuable and has a purpose so we also, even more so, are highly valuable and so do we also have a purpose. God wants us to be the salt in the world. God wants us to flavor the world just like Pastor Jono is flavoring these noodles right now. To be different, to be kind, to bring healing, to show compassion to others and to love on those around us. Guys, I wish you could see this. I do have to say that these noodles are absolutely beautiful. Now we're just gonna go in and we're gonna add, we're gonna add these flavors. We're gonna add some kindness. I'm not actually adding the salt guys, but um, it is very salty. I mean, maybe I'll add just a little bit. Cause that, this flavoring is actually quite, um, quite salty already. But yeah, we're just gonna add some, um, add some spice of life. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Yeah, look at that. Gotta I'm love it. Too much in. 
It's not too much. You can never have too much salt, yo. I thought I was the one. Not Jack, she can, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, now talking about salt, this awesome thing that we have right here. What exactly is the makeup, Jono? Do you know the chemical composition or makeup of salt? Okay. Little science I did. quiz. Uh, chemistry when I was in high school. Yes. Um, I did year 11 chemistry and I I knew that one day this was going to come in handy. Salt is, uh, it's got sodium in it, I know that. Sodium yes. chloride, Na, sodium. NaCl. NaCl? NaCl, yo! Claps in the chat for Pastor Jono, he got it do right. I get a gold medal for that? You do get a gold medal. Um, we don't currently have some on us, but that can be your prize for after afterwards. All right, guys, so there are certain properties, there are certain elements that make salt salt, right? Table salt that we have right here. And like Pastor Jono said, the two elements are, we have one ratio of sodium and one ratio of chloride. And the chemical composition of you is NaCl. Now, if you were to take away, right? If you were to take away or replace one of these elements, the Na or the Cl or even both, now you may have something good, right? You may have something good or close to it, but you will no longer have salt. Just like Jesus says in this verse in Matthew, there are specific characteristics to salt that gives it its saltiness. Jesus says, but if salt has to lose its taste, how can its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything. We can apply this to our lives in a way that there are certain characteristics to being a Christian, to following Christ that cannot be changed and that cannot be replaced. There are certain characteristics to being you, to being Pastor Jono, mm. to being Pastor Chanel that cannot be changed, that cannot be replaced. The way that we represent Jesus cannot be changed and cannot be replaced. I like that, Pastor Chanel. Mm. Like, um, I'm getting an idea that there's certain things that make up who we are. Yeah. And I'm wondering if we can just pause from your talk for a moment right now yes. and just go to a discussion question for you guys to discuss in the chat. So the question is, what words would you use to describe who you are. All right, take up point number two, guys, is wake up to your flavor. Jono, wake up to your flavor. All right, tell me Let's what's do it. Your, we're going to wake up to your flavor. Ad in New Zealand. Tell me what's your flavor. Do you guys have that over here in Australia? <laughs> I don't think so. It's just you, just you. Anyway, so this first states that you are the salt of the earth. It is an affirmation, guys. It is literally affirming and confirming something that you are. You're not to become. You're not even to act like. Jesus literally tells you that you already are. Some of y'all are asleep to the greatness that God has put inside of you. Now, I know, you know, you might not feel great and you might not even recognize your greatness, but I'm here to tell you today that you really have no choice but to be great because the King of Kings formed you, the Lord of Lords put his DNA inside of you and there is no choice but to embrace the greatness that is already within you. You wake up, you open your eyes, you take a breath. That is greatness right there. I am great. It reminds me of the uh, Olympic champions. You know, Yo. they are great. They are at the top of their sport. They are at the peak. Yep. They are champions. That's who they are. That's their flavor. Yes, it is. What is your flavor? I like that question. Mm. What's your flavor? What do you have the, to bring to the world around you? In fact, we're going to switch to that question right now. I hope that you bring that same passion uh, to your classes and to the community around you. Uh, yes. We are starting to um, get All this right. food out here. This is looking great. Talking about positivity, spiciness, having a good attitude, um, the zest of life is all in this glass right here, okay? I have, um, we're gonna do a little science experiment, guys. So, I want you to imagine these two glasses represent the world that we live in. If you can, um, Pastor Jono, just chop off some of that spring onion for some garnish on the top. Oh, of course. You know what I'm garnish. saying? Because we eat, we, we eat with our less. eyes, you know what I'm saying? You really got to appeal. Oh, 
to the eyes for the few. All right, well, imagine these two glasses as the world that we live in, guys. We have two eggs. Now these two eggs, they can represent you, they can represent a friend, they can represent your family, right? Life without salt, the world without salt, the world without us in it. What happens to this egg when we drop it into this water? What do you think is gonna happen, Pastor Jerome? Uh, when you drop it in the water, yeah. uh, eggs, the eggs float or do they sink? I think mm, it's gonna, I think it's gonna out. float. You gotta find out. The egg sinks, guys. The egg sinks. You sink without the salt of Jesus Christ in your life, without the salt of positivity, without the salt and the flavor that you bring to the world that is this glass, you sink. All right, now we're going to see what happens when we drop this egg, when we drop you, when we drop a friend, whatever it may be, whatever this egg represents to you. What happens when we drop this egg into the water that has salt, that has flavor, that has you in it? Oh, the Whoa. egg floats, guys. Look at that. That is so crazy. All right. My take home point number three is this. Hashtag stay salty. Now, I love this, guys. I'm going to read this verse for you guys again because the message version says this. Your year to be salt seasoning that brings out the God flavors of this earth. If you lose your saltiness, how will people taste godliness? Woo! Man, I love, I love that verse so much, right? Whatever amount of salt is added to any food that one makes, the impact and the flavor that it creates never goes unnoticed. If food has the ability to bring flavors, if salt has the ability to bring flavors out of food that otherwise wasn't there or to enhance flavors that already are there, salt takes food to the next level. In being the salt of the earth that brings out God flavors in this world, we have the ability to influence and to actually impact the lives of people around us. In being salty for God, our flavor, and our seasoning can actually impact others to make better decisions, to choose better actions, and to form better opinions that change the world around us. Here's our discussion question for you now. Last discussion question. What impact are you making on the people around you? Are you changing the flavor for good or for bad? Talk about the flavor. I'm loving it. Is it good? Talk about the flavor. Okay. okay. How spicy are we talking? Because I'm saying it's getting anxious. It's there. It's, you can taste it. The spice of salvation. <laughs> Shout out to um, Rachel, Pastor Mao's um, daughter, referencing her there with the spice of salvation, the spice of life that it is. All right, guys. Thank you so much for um, Pastor John. Are you okay? Are you good? Um, we I'm have. Uh, in on me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face, guys. Uh, let me just um, get your, get the sweat on your brow there for you. Yeah, you good? You good? <laughs> it's a little I'm, um, little too spicy. I didn't think for, it would be um, the spicy. <laughs> for Pastor Jono. <laughs> All right, guys. Coming to a closing. Thank you so much for interacting there on the chat. Um, so awesome to see you guys. Yeah, really. Dig in um, to this question of what impact are you making on the people around you? Are you changing the flavor for good or for bad? I know that all these students at Gilson College, all of you students and all you teachers, we surely are the salt in our community. We are the salt in the world right here and we certainly are changing the flavor for good. Um, in closing, I want you guys to remember <coughs> these four Things. Okay, Pastor Jono is um, off the scene. Just, just me. <laughs> All right, I want you to remember how valuable you are. You are so valuable. I want you to remember the greatness that is inside of you. Wake up to your greatness. Wake up to your flavor and never lose it. Never lose your flavor. And our last and final point is this, Pastor Jono. Can you say it with me? Hashtag 
Stay salty for God. I like that. Woo. I like that. And I like this. This is fantastic. Look, this is not too hot at all. Yeah. Not I just like some so spices. <laughs> I like it hot. You know, bring that flavor in. And I hope you guys are bringing flavor in your life.